so we're going to show you how to tie the uh, apps bug worm. This is a pattern from a guy called Peter Appleby. It's a super successful, um, it's kind of more of a lure pattern I'd say than a, than a blood worm pattern. But it's very very effective, small waters, um, on small waters especially when the water is very clear. So I'll show you how to make it in a second. Okay so in the vise we've got fully milled competition heavyweight in a size 10. Um, and I'm going to tie the whole fly with GB floss number four. Um, so catch your floss on. Just run it down, snap off the waist. Once you're here, run the thread back up towards the eye. So on the size 10 version, it has uh, two flexi floss legs front and back. So I tie these in at the front to begin with. that in, just run this to the back. And you can take this a little bit around the bend. Okay. So once we're happy with those, just pull them up, chop them roughly to length. Okay. So the um, the rib for the fly is just another strand of flexi floss. So I'll run this up in touching turns, or semi touching turns, and just catch in our piece for the rib. And then run this back to the rear of the fly again. And once we're there, what we then want to do is we just want to build up the body slightly with the GV floss. So we go up and down in touching turns to try and make a nice smooth body. So when you're happy with your uh, with your body there, you then just take your other piece of flexi floss and we just rib up the body in open terms. Catch that off, pull tight and just fold it back. And just remove your waist piece there and just work finish. Let's get slightly caught up in the front legs but not too bad. Okay. Okay so to finish the fly we just apply something like uh, Sally Hansen Harbour's Nails um, and you can apply maybe two or three coats. Um, you could apply a coat of super glue first um, and then maybe a couple of coats of the varnish um, or you could even um, use um, some UV, UV cure resin. There we go, that's your finished fly.